Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, December 31, 2020. Last day of the year. And uh, yes, let's get to it. So we're going to look at these. Um, the tech stock, the, the indices that we're going to look at are the S&P 500, the NASDAQ, and also the Dow Jones. And then we're going to look at these major tech stocks. And if you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon if you want access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online courses and trades. So uh, the link is down below and you're welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are trading at 3,732. We are up 0 0.13 at this point. And um, at this point, I think that we're going to have a little bit of pullback. As you can see, uh, yesterday we were outside of the Bollinger Band, broke below with the upper part of the Bollinger Band, and now we're probably going to go towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is roughly at uh, 3,700, give or take. That is where you could basically enter this market for a buy. We are basically going to, most likely going to see uh, the continuation of the bull run um, that is going to occur. Uh, Basically, the market has forgotten the coronavirus, even though it's wreaking, wreaking havoc around the world at the moment. The market's basically just uh, focusing on uh, liquidity at this point. So more stimulus, the more injections from the central banks, uh, well, the, the better it is for the uh, financial markets. So that is what the financial market cares about, and therefore it will just continue. So... If you look at technical indicators for the S&P 500, the MACD is still underneath the signal line, but we are above zero, so this is very bullish at this point. Uh, the RSI is very high at this point. We're at 65, still not overbought. The CCI is basically turning around, but still over 100, so it's very bullish still. And the stochastic is still bullish. However, we are a little bit overstretched. We have pulled back a little bit from yesterday's highs, and my guess is that we'll pull back towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, roughly 3,700, and there you will basically see buyers come in and push this to 3,800 and probably 4,000 within the next few weeks or a month or two. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So very similar here. We basically got uh, very stretched yesterday outside of the Bollinger Band and usually when that happens you have a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band again. So that is roughly at uh, 30,163 and there you'll basically see buyers come back in and, uh, and push this higher. So 30,409 uh, is where we're trading at this point, current point. So pullback towards the 20 exponential and a, and a, and a rally towards 30,500 that is going to be the next run, and then to 31,000. So technical indicators here are, well, they're mixed. Stochastic is bullish. The CCI is still bullish. We're above zero. And uh, there's a lot of room to the upside. We're only at 59. And uh, the MACD is above zero and underneath the signal line. So, so it is looking very good, but I would expect a pullback when you're considering that we have been very overstretched here in the Bollinger Bands. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So as you can see, we are getting into significant over uh, bought the territory in the NASDAQ. We are at 80.59. We are going to see a pullback here in the NASDAQ towards the 20 exponential, and that's roughly at 12,600, uh, give or take. So I would not buy this at this point. I would not sell this. I would just wait until we see something similar to this, pull back towards the 20 exponential. Some of these major tech stocks have already started to pull back. So for example, Apple, Amazon, and Microsoft had major rallies and are starting to pull back. And uh, we will see um, a pullback here. We are getting very overstretched and we're just going to watch on the four one hour time frame uh, when the stochastic is turning around and the CCI is going to turn around and so on. And when we basically, we already hit the top of the Bollinger Band. And usually what happens here is that we basically pull back towards the middle here, which is roughly at 12,640, 33 at the moment, 36 at the moment. 
So technical indicator in the daily chart at least are still fairly bullish. RSI is very bullish. Star Stochastic is very bullish. Uh, MACD is basically flat, but it has been that for a very long time now. And the CCI is still bullish. But trade here, wait until it basically gets close to the 20 exponential moving average. So 12,000. 12,600 um, and give or take, and then you basically can buy it with a stop loss right underneath here. So let's look at the tech stocks. So it is fairly mixed. Uh, most of them are in deep red, but Tesla is just, uh, well, amazing today. So Apple is down 0.85%. We were down yesterday roughly 3.2%, uh, and then today a little bit more. So our target here is the 20 exponential moving average. We got way over ahead of ourselves here in the Bullinger Band. You see that every time we get this far outside of the Bullinger Band, everybody that's paying paying attention to Bitcoin at this point, yes, every time you get that far outside of uh, the Bullinger Band, it's going to pull back really aggressively. So um, here you can see we are pulling back towards the, toilet, the middle of the Bullinger Band. That's a roughly a fall of seven points. 86% and uh, when we have um, pulled back towards the 20 you will see buyers come back in and push this uh, towards these previous highs which is 139 and then probably target 145 or something like that here will be probably the next target in this market uh, technical indicators are turning around we are still significantly uh, very fairly overbought we are 72 uh, MACD is starting to turn around, uh, CCI is starting to turn around, so is down stochastic. So expect this to fall towards the 20. The RSI will fall most likely to around uh, 55 to 60, and then this will turn around. So let's look at Amazon. As you can see, we're down 1.09%. We got very, very stretched yesterday. We were way outside the Bollinger Band. We're just gotten inside here. And now we're heading towards the, the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is roughly at 3,200. And there you'll basically see buyers come back in. So this will probably take a few trading days and it will also take a few trading days for this to turn around. But um, this was a very encouraging sign to the upside. There is a lot of interest in basically buying this, but when it gets this overstretched, they, uh, people basically will come in and basically start selling it. We are still overbought, we are 72. Technical indicators are still fairly bullish, but a pullback towards uh, these bullish, uh, these um, these moving averages or the uh, 20 exponential moving average here at uh, 3,200, give or take. That is basically entry point with a stop loss around an eight of 50. So let's look at Microsoft, and as you can see, Microsoft has started falling as well. We got also way up ahead of ourselves here in the bullish band where we're overstretched, um, overbought, and Usually what happens is you have these major pullbacks. But this basically gives us the opportunity to buy the stock at much cheaper. And at this point, our entry point would be here, 219. Entry point would be here at 217. And also here at the 50 is at 215. And probably the best entry point here would be the 100 moving average at 213. That will have a lot of interest and people will start buying into that. So I don't expect this to go all the way down to the 150. If we do, similar to this, I don't think that we're going to see that. 100, 100 is the best uh, case scenario in this case, in this point. Technical indicators otherwise are fairly mixed. Stochastic is turning around now, uh, becoming very bearish. The same is the CCI. So RSI is bullish and the MACD is basically also turning around, but still bullish. So let's look at Facebook. Facebook is down 1.77%. So it was looking really good for Facebook. This was a terrible candlestick yesterday. And today we just fell up a cliff, 1.77%. But still, this is the most popular stock for the major investors in the world. Every single one of them has Facebook in their portfolio. And a massive amount of their portfolio is basically Facebook. So Apple and Facebook, basically. So this is not going anywhere. You can basically buy this at a cheap. Um, we started basically buying this in, in in several stages, and the closer that we get to 262, 
and it basically the more that I will buy. And if we basically can manage to get all the way down to the 150 moving average, then of course I'll buy even more. Even though we're st st stuck here right at the 100 moving average and we could basically see a turnaround at this stage. Sarcastic is bullish now. The, CC and the MACD is still underneath the signal line, still under the zero, so it's still bearish. Uh, we are, uh, there's a lot of room to the upside, so we could see a few training, a few days where this basically turns around. But when it does, I think that we will take out both 287, 291, and also this 297. That's, uh, I'm very bullish in this stock. To the downside, the lower part of the bullish band is at 264. So if we were to fall down there, then I will basically be buying a lot. So let's look at Tesla. Tesla rallied yet again. We are basically at the previous highs here, 698, uh, 94, I should say. Uh, we have not cracked the 700, but yeah, we'll, well, well, it's difficult to say. I don't think we're going to probably touch it and then fall back. The reason why I say that is because we are on the edge of being overbought. We are also at the top of the Bollinger Band here, and usually you see something, a pullback like this. So last time we did this, it was a pullback of roughly 11.6%, so quite a major pullback. So uh, that is basically your buying opportunity for Tesla stock. I would not buy it here. I would wait until you get close to the 20 uh, exponential moving average and then just buy a lot of it because it has been significant uh, support for a very long time now. And you can just put a stop loss right underneath here just to secure your trade. But pullbacks are basically buying opportunities. And the target would be 700 and then 725, 20, uh, give or take. So let's look at Google. Google has pulled back quite significantly. Uh, we can zoom in here. We found major support here at the 50 moving average or these very lows here at 1715. And now we're starting to pull back. So this is a really good you know, sign for Google. We started buying it here and the target is basically 1848. So a trade of roughly a profit of roughly 6.8%. Yes. I'll take that basically every day. Technical indicators here are turning around, becoming bullish. So we're, we could basically have another go at the bottom, but there'll be even more buying occurring if that were the case. We are basically on the edge of being oversold. The CCI is still uh, fairly bearish at this point. The MACD is fairly bearish, but the CCI stochastic is bullish. And um, yes, well, when you see uh, that you have a um, pullback at the 50 moving average and you're basically at the very bottom, it is a no brainer. Just I basically buying this with a stop loss right underneath and the target of this. So let's look at Netflix. Uh, we rallied quite significantly from the 40 exponential moving average all the way to uh, 537. That's roughly 5.8%. And then we fell again down. 1.18% uh, and um, at this point I think that we'll find uh, we'll find uh, quite a lot of support here at the 20 exponential that's 516 if we get there um, technical indicators are still bullish the RSI is bullish the MACD is basically flat the CCI is bullish and the stochastic is becoming bullish we're basically in the middle of nowhere here in the bullish band so I would expect a pullback towards the middle and then rally towards these highs of roughly 540, 542, give or take. But I'm not entering here. I need a pullback towards the 20 exponential. Better even at the 40 exponential at 509 in order to buy. So I hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.